These are round 22, the Liga predictions. Conrad, let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. First pick is Espanyol taking on Real Betis. Now, Espanyol came off a 2-2 draw against Cadiz. There was one big chance aside. It was a very even contest. Um, but the home side, Espanyol, had a little bit of the edge. On the other hand, Real Betis came off a 4-0 drubbing of Dorportivo Alaves. They had four big chances to zero, so just well-deserved. They outplayed them. Standard procedure for them. So this one, we're going to start the weekend off safe. Two high-scoring teams. And we're going over one and a half goals to hit. Our next pick for you comes from the bottom of the table. It's 19th versus 20th. It's Levante versus Cadiz. Now Levante just came off a 2-0 win against Mallorca. Two big chances each. However, the result wasn't as fair as the game uh, played out to be. The two expected goals for the, both teams were just over one. So Mallorca could find themselves slightly unlucky not to draw that game. And Levante could find themselves quite lucky to win that. Cadiz on the other hand drew 2-2 to Espanyol. A great game for them. They'll be very happy with that draw, moving them up to 19th. Our prediction for this one is giving Cadiz a two handicap. Our next pick is Villarreal taking on Mallorca. Now Villarreal came up for 1-0 defeat against Alche. A massive upset on the cards. It was a very defensive game. Alche played their game plan to the T and got the W over there. On the other hand, Mallorca also came up for 2-0 defeat against Levante. As Jordan just said, was a bit unlucky. They took their chances and just couldn't get the goal. Levante's keeper was just insane making eight saves. So for this one, we back the stronger team here, Villarreal, to take it home. Our next pick for you is Sevilla versus Salta Vigo. Now Sevilla just came off a 1-1 draw against Valencia. They did have 68% of the possession, so they... Probably should have won that game. They controlled the game. Salta Vigo, on the other hand, beat Osasuna 2-0. They were 2-0 up at halftime and then just decided to park the bus in the second half. So we've seen this encounter being quite interesting with Sevilla. Maybe just edging the win, but I'll pick for this one. is Sevilla to win, draw no bet. Our next pick is Atletico Madrid taking on Valencia. Now Atletico Madrid came for a 2-2 draw against Villarreal. But they were very much outplayed in that game. Villarreal had three big chances to Atletico Madrid one. So maybe a little bit of a mid-season slump coming in over here. And then on the other hand, Valencia came up a 1-1 draw against Sevilla. As Jordan just said, uh, Valencia was happy to play without the ball. They were very defensive, although they even had more of the big chances. Playing their game plan once again to a T. So this one, we're backing Valencia to keep it defensive and lose with less than two goals. So Valencia with a handicap of two goals. Our next pick is Granada versus Osasuna. Now Granada just came off a 1-1 draw against Barcelona. Where they had 40% of the possession and managed well to hang on there in that game and get the draw, get the one point. Osasuna on the other hand, lost 2-0 to Salta Vigo. However, Osasuna did have 70% of the possession in the second half, but they just could not take their chances. So for this game, we're backing Osasuna to score a couple, take their chances. So we're going over one and a half goals to hit. Our next pick is Real Madrid taking on Alche. Now, Real Madrid came off a 4-1 victory against Valencia. They are in red hot form. There were eight big chances in that game. Six for Real Madrid, two for Valencia. They are just too strong at the moment. Their team is clicking. It's kind of like the Real Madrid of old. On the other hand, Alche came off that 1-0 victory against Villarreal. As I just said, massive underdogs, but their game plan, they converted it. To a D. So we think Real Madrid is just too strong at the moment and we say Real Madrid are going to win with at least two goals. <laughs> Our next pick is Real Sociedad versus Getafe. Now Real Sociedad just came up for 1-0 win against Salta Vigo where they actually had five big chances. So that scoreline could have been way different. They need to take their chances in the next game. Getafe, on the other hand, suffered a 1-0 loss to Sevilla. Getafe is super defensive. They're quite scared to attack and, and have those big goal margins put against them. So for this one, quite simple, we're going Real Sociedad to win. <laughs> 
Our next pick is Rayo Vallecano taking it on Athletic Bilboa. Now Rayo came off a 1-1 draw against Real Betis. There were two big chances aside but only could convert one each side. That 58% of the possession so they just could not convert those chances. They are however unbeaten at home. So they are going to be on home swell so we expect them to be strong. Athletic Bilbao on the other hand came off a 0-0 draw against Deportivo Alaves. Um, there were no big chances in that game. There was only three shots on target the whole game. A very defensive game. They were ever favourites but just couldn't get the W. They are the draw specialist of La Liga. So that plays a bit into the next pick. So we're going Rayo Vallecano win or draw. <laughs> Our next pick is Deportivo Alaves versus Barcelona. Now Alaves just came off a 0-0 draw against Athletic Balboa. Barcelona coming off a 1-1 draw against Granada. Barcelona just aren't looking as hot as they normally do. They are playing Athletic Balboa tonight, so we'll see how they go there. However, we do think it's time for them to catch some flames in the season. So we're going to give Barcelona this win. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching yet another episode of the Big Match Talk Show. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.